Hello. Hi, Hello. can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. There you are, Fatima, Roberto. Now I see you. I don't see Karen. I'm going to check on some of these guys. How was your day? Good. Tired? Nah, I didn't work today. It was tiring. You're tired, tiring. but they was tiring. Yeah, with ING. What did you say, Roberto? I didn't say, like, I didn't work today. Oh, ah. oh great. <laughs> Look to you. Hey, is tomorrow a holiday too? Tomorrow is a holiday, right? Yes. Yes. Yay. The holiday. Double pay. Well, <laughs> good for you. It's a day off for me. What are your plans? Oh, really? And you're like, stay at home. <laughs> Big plan. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans for the holidays? I got evening ship tomorrow. Hmm. Don't have to work. Got it. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. I think she can't hear me. Stay at home. She froze. Fatima, do you have to work? And no, as far as I know, <laughs> but um, I I work. Um, we are planning some. Um, I don't know how to say. We are planning to make uh, things like camping with my daughter <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> ah, you're gonna camp out in the in the backyard that's nice yeah so creative yeah. try try to <laughs> <laughs> that's so creative good yeah. thing you have a backyard that's nice okay i hope you have fun all right we're gonna get started um so this is where we left off we were working on the reading i think that was the last thing we did right so, uh, who wants to read the objective? Somebody read, please. By the end of this class, you will be able to use part continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. Okay. Um, very good. I think we're going to be combining both. Simple past. Do you have any idea of what the difference is before we start? What is the difference between past continuous and past simple? Past in the past. Past continuous. Is it still happening nowadays? Mm, no. No. I'll ask you the same question after you watch the video. So let's watch it and hopefully that answers the, the question, okay? Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. 
I will begin talking about simple paths because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay, so what is the difference between the two of them? You're muted. Sorry, I'm going to mute everyone. Uh, 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 mute. The first part of the ten sentence was... Um, in progress until the other action mm -hmm. um, interrupted and the other the second action was completed in the past yes great that's, that's a good one so one of them is completed the other one is in progress yes that's exactly how it works Okay, and then we saw something about while in something about when. How do you use this? When. How do you use while, eh, while Roberto? You, while you use to have continuous and when you use it for simple past. Uh-huh. That's great. You're helping a lot. All right, now... First, before we try to combine them, I would like you to practice using past continuous, okay? We're gonna practice this first before we, we use it together. I have some questions here for you. Let me see. I'll send them through WhatsApp, all right? First one says, uh, uh, uh. hold on, first one says, what were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m.? How would you answer that question? Repeat your question. I just sent it through WhatsApp. You can open it. Mm -hmm. see. It says, what were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m.? 7 a.m. I was drinking a coffee. Huh? Uh, until my daughter wake up 
woke up yeah, and called me. <laughs> that works. How old is your daughter? Uh, she has five, six. She is six. Already turned six. Uh -huh. Instead of she has, she is. Okay. Sorry? She is six. She is six. Mm, yes, instead of has. Okay, great. Hi. What about you, Roberto? Hi, Karen. I think we have. I, I'm sorry, my internet is slow. Yeah, Katia is having the same problem. Okay, um, what we're doing right now is you check WhatsApp, Katia and Karen. Okay, we're practicing past Hello. continuous. Hello. Hi, Katia. I'm here. Welcome. Hello. Hi. We're practicing past continuous. So we use was or were. Okay, and then the verb in the IUG form, the gerund, right? So the first question says, what were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m.? Fatima said, I was uh, sleeping, right? Until I was drinking coffee. I was drinking coffee. I was <laughs> drinking coffee, <laughs> nothing to do with that. Yeah. I just stole my idea. <laughs> when my daughter woke me up and called me to go and play with her and that. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> uh -huh. All right, great. So the question is, what were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m., right? Uh, how would you answer that question, Karen? What am I, am I doing just? What were you doing yesterday at 7 a.m.? Um, I was... Uh, The same, I was drinking coffee at 7 a.m. When, 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 when my boss called me. <laughs> they don't let you drink coffee peacefully. Yeah. Why do they have to interrupt? <laughs> nice wake up call. <laughs> uh huh. Literally. <laughs> it's literally a wake up call. Only. Like okay, great. So you know how to answer that. Uh, this is optional. If you can combine, because that's what we're studying, right? We're studying uh, when or while. Okay, for example, while I, while I was drinking coffee, my boss called me or my boss, my boss called me when I, no, I was drinking coffee when my boss called me, like that. Okay, so if you can use when or while in the questions, that will be better so that you can practice this topic. Are you ready to practice or you have questions? Ready? Yes, no questions. I'll take that as uh, no questions. Okay, great. We're gonna work in pairs. Um, Katia and Karen, all right, and Roberto and Fatima. Let me see. Okay. Roberto and Fatima. Okay, practice the questions. We'll do that for seven minutes, okay? Okay. Have to think patiently. What happened today? <laughs> I have the same problem. It's very slowly. You say very mm -hmm. slow. Very slow. Yes, slowly is to describe an action. Oh, okay. Like I walk, I walk slowly, for example, or the internet is slow. Uh -huh. It's slow. Yeah, that's okay. why um, I'm checking on you to see that you can practice. We'll see. Let's try our best.
What were you doing yesterday at midday? Uh, at, at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. ah, at midday. Midday. What were you doing? Okay. I was I was taking my lunch when uh when my dog barked. <laughs> Great, good example. Okay, by the way, take lunch or dinner is not so common. The most common one is have. Have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. The second most common one is eat. Eat dinner, eat lunch, eat fat. Take means to go. Like I will take lunch to work. So I was at uh, the the right answer will be I I was, I was eating. Having. I was having my lunch. Yes, you can say eating, but that is like very specific of the action. The most common one is have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. I was uh, having okay. lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back. Hey. When I had a phone call. When I received a phone call. I have a question. Mm -hmm. See? A phone call, yeah, it, it's a phone call. And um, I said someone called me by phone, but I received a phone call. No, there are many ways. Somebody Hi. called me, somebody, British English would be somebody phoned me. Yeah, that's why, that's why, that's what I'm trying to tell her, like, it was okay the way she, she said it. Yes, yes, there are many ways, Fatima. No, but the, that when someone someone calls you not by phone but in your house uh, ah yes how do you say? call call yeah my daughter called me mommy uh -huh. come here she's calling you yeah it because does. i, I see. she's shouting my name <laughs> <laughs> someone tell me <laughs> no no, no uh, you can also say please call me josie so it's not like hey call me ah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's call uh -huh. me and another usage of the word is that one. Hey, come here. So they're calling you. And uh, call yeah. you on the phone or receive a phone call or, yeah. Phone call. So, and I, I have a question. I said I was in a meeting. Yes. That, that is uh, past continuous. You, you say while well, I was in a meeting. I was? In a meeting. No, that's past simple. But uh, in, how do you make continue? Maybe I was participating in a meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Because I I didn't use the adverb with ing. Uh, yeah. I was in a meeting, huh? But it's not necessary. I was in a meeting, or I was in the middle of a meeting when this happened. It's okay, cause um, since you have a meeting that's not usually a continuous action. It's, mm -hmm. We understand mm -hmm. it's more continuous in the moment. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. I don't want to get you confused. So if you say, I was in a meeting when this happened, it's all right. Yeah, okay. Because the state of being um, more permanent. The okay. fourth, ah, you say the fourth, uh, Robert. Yes. What were uh, Cats, not too much. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> it is special. Um, Karen. Okay. What, uh, what, hey? Where did you study English? Uh, where? Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in Chicago 18 years ago for three years. So I took uh, one year a class but then I got pregnant and I had to to quit my classes and since that I haven't I haven't I haven't taken I had uh, English classes. I haven't right because if you say haven't it, it's up until now and you're taking classes. So since then because we're talking about time since then I hadn't in the past taking classes until now. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, that's, that's interesting. You lived in the United States, in Chicago. Yes, I lived there uh, 18 years ago, a long time ago. But it was a nice experience. And, and how do you feel with online classes? Is there a huge difference for you? Uh, it's good, but you know what? I'm doing too much things at the same time. I am uh, doing uh, home office. I am studying my 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 maestry. How do you my say? My master. My master, and I'm taking English classes. I am uh, doing um, homework with my boys. So I so many things at the same time. But I think I I I can. <laughs> you can handle it. There's a lot in I your can, plate. Uh huh. No, but you know what? You decided that because you wanted it deep inside you. <laughs> you want to make an effort and do a lot of things. You probably enjoy it. Yes, that's the reason. That's the, the principal reason that I'm taking English class. I am losing opportunities in in uh, in my job. Mm -hmm because of not speaking English. And you, Katya? Yes. I studied English in Centro Cultural. That's a good place. Yes, but I don't finish. <laughs> I didn't. No, I, I didn't, didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Centro Cultural. Hmm. Oh, I miss El Salvador. <laughs> I want to go back. To it. <laughs> How long did you study? Three months, one year, two years. How long? I think we lost her, right? We're going to go back. It's time. Okay. Then you. We're back. <laughs> yes. Those are my lines. <laughs> Shade is back. <laughs> that make me sing that I, song like I know it. I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna send you an audio singing that, all right? Just because you said it. I really like that song. Really? You have like you you, you sing it all all the way around? <laughs> and all the way to the end? No, not till the end. The beginning and the close. Uh, that's it, and, and the second. Ah, the second part. I told you this thing. Oh, no. we're gonna try it later. Let's focus right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna do number one. Number one, go ahead, Katya. My brother. Was snowboarding when we. When he broke his leg in several places. He broke his leg in several places. I don't understand that, but all right. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah but that's the right conjugation though. Number two, uh, Fatima? Mm -hmm. Several years ago, I was having problems with math. So I found a tutor to help me. Yeah, I found a tutor, okay. All right, number three, you got it? Uh, the couple, well, well, uh, the couple had, their first child when no 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 the couple had their first child when they were living in a tiny apartment you know it's tiny <laughs> it is tiny tiny okay when they were living in a tiny apartment great or Roberto? 
while I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Mm -hmm. So when I was driving, I realized. Great, five. Katya? Ulrike is a name. Yeah. Okay. Ulrike. From Ukraine. Was, oh, was reading a good book, but someone told her the ending. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and spoiled the book. Yes. Thanks, Fatima. While my mother was cooking dinner last night, mm -hmm. the phone rang three times. Great, so she was cooking and the phone rang, it interrupted the action. Great, finally, got it. Was cooking, teacher. You mark, rang, was ringing, thinking. My mom was ringing, she was like, <laughs> Seven. Who's starting today? Karen. Tracy and Eric were cooking when they when they met. Mm -hmm. No, you got backwards. Cool. They worked at the same restaurant. No, it doesn't make sense. No. You need to do backwards. Meeting yeah. goes first. Hold on, no, well, hold on. Remember, there is one action in progress and there is one that happens. So which one is longer in time? Which one lasted longer? And the verb here is meet. The they were here. working at the same. Yes. They were working. Oh, but we don't even have the, the conjugation no. here. We're gonna say cooking, all right? <laughs> they were working. Uh huh. So they met, right? When they were working at the same. Tracy and Eric met when they were working. I think this is right, cooking. Yeah, no. No. Oh, my bad, my bad. My mother, while my mother was cooking. Was cooking. The phone rang. Okay, great job. Awesomeness. <laughs> great. Um, I feel like this topic is not so difficult for you, is it? How is this topic? Easy? Intermediate? Middle. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna practice a little bit more and then move on, okay? Um, we're gonna talk about events that have happened. How old are you, uh, Katya, may I ask? Is me? How old are you, may I ask? 40, I am 40 years. 30. 40. 40, 40, zero. 40. Yes. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> you have a filter on your camera or what? <laughs> I thought you were 30. Nobody <laughs> believe me. Fatima, she looks 30, right? Yeah. What? My are partner. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Fatima? I'm 36. Oh my gosh, you look younger than I. <laughs> Wait. How old is she? Fatima is 36 and Katya is 40 years old. <laughs> Look at how old is Fatima, his eyebrows. Fatima is 36? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she look more younger in there. Ah, oh, and you don't, and I, I, how do you say? I, you're short. Tall, tall, yeah, uh, one meter and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh, I imagine, so on top of being skinny, you're short, so nobody believes you're 36. Yeah, okay. my, my, um, 
my mates in work, co-workers, how do you say? My colleagues, co-workers. Uh, my colleagues they say uh, sometimes when I am the cook of the work the, of the office, they say that I look like a uh, 15 years old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like 18, something like that. No. <laughs> something like that, yes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Look at me. I look 30 something. <laughs> I look older than you. I'm 28. <laughs> but I look older than that. Wait, you, you're 28? Yeah. No. No. No, people tell me. You look mm, young. Sometimes they tell me I look 30, sometimes they tell me I look 26, or either or. But never yeah. my age. What about you, Roberto? This is such a basic question. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How old do you think I uh, am? I know. Like 30, I think. <laughs> How old are you? No. 28. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh. I, that I imagine. <laughs> I imagine you were my age. Karen? 45. Okay. No, I imagine Karen was like in her 40s because how long has she lived in the United States as well? 18 years ago, you told me, right? Yes. So, oh. so she cannot like be 20, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lived in the United States. Roberto, too. For how and long? I, for, um, how long, Karen? Uh, three years. Three. You, Roberto? Mm, 14 years. 14 years in the United States. Are you kidding me? Yes. I live tomorrow? Less than tom two years. Tom tomorrow, I'm going to have, I will have three years since I came back here. You're translating that. Well, it, will, say? it will be three years since I came it, back. Yeah, it will be. Uh -huh. it will be okay, so this is what we're going to do, and the reason why I ask you a personal question like that is because of the events we have experienced, okay? So we're all, I'm the youngest one, and well, Roberto and I are the youngest ones then. So anything that happened 28 years ago, we know, okay? For example, do you remember there was a big earthquake back in, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm not sure if this is the spelling. Um, 2000, right? Or 2001? When was it? 2001. 2001. 2001. Okay. There were two earthquakes, actually. That is the right spelling. Okay. One in and January. Tell me another big event that we have lived as humans. For Salvador. The towers. Ah, Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the towers. The, yeah, the towers. What? Twin towers, twin yeah twin towers. towers, right? Yeah. Nine eleven. Aha, uh -huh, the nine eleven. All right, we're gonna do that. One more. The tsunami. The hurricane. Hurricane. Ah, Mitch hurricane. How was it like this, Mitch? Yes. Uh, with T. M I T C H. Something like that. My T C Mitch yeah. hurricane. Mitch. Do you remember, Karen? Yes, I remember. Okay, so the question is going to be, what were you doing? What were you doing when? And complete the question, right? When la 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 la, and you answer the question. So I was doing this and that when that happened, and then give more details. You can have a longer conversation and say, oh, you know, I was doing this and and I heard something and this happened. You can make it longer, all right? Give more details. You can speak freely because we're not those many. So um, I'll send this to the group. Is the activity clear? We're gonna practice for about seven minutes again. Ready? Yes. The different person. So let me switch you. All right, accept the invitation, please.
camping. Camping. Camping in San Ignacio with the with the scouts. Mm. What about you? I was I I I forgot this verb. What is it? I can help. Um you. barrer. Ah, barriendo. Yes. Sweeping. Sweeping. Yes. I was sweeping in the um, um, living of my house. My living room. In the living room of mm -hmm. my house when it started to, how do you say? Um, taking. Oh. When it to shake. When everything and started shaking, or when the earthquake started. When the earthquake started, and when when I told that to my friends, they say that I sweep too strong, maybe. <laughs> 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 but I I it was very frustrating for me because it that earthquake was the first one that I really felt mm -hmm. and I, I got paralyzed I don't know how to say I, I paralyzed I, I get paralyzed and and I I start to to say I we're going to die we're going to die mm -hmm. to my mom because I don't know I, I oh. felt I felt that the, the um, um, floor is going to break. Was going to break. Was going to break. Fatima, so can you do I, me a favor? Was, uh, yeah. Can you send a message with your first name and last name to the group, please? Because I don't have your phone number. I don't know what's Sorry? Name. Can you send a message to the group with your first name and last name? So I can save it. I'll be back. When the Micho or, or, or when? In, in what, what were you doing? When the earthquake of 2001 happened? Uh, the first one was in January 13th, Saturday. I was working. Wow. I was I remember that because it was my, my birthday, oh. so I had to wow. go to the plant, uh, to, to the manufacturing plant to do some some papers, and it happened. Oh no! Yeah, that sucks. What about the second one? Uh, what? What was the second one? And what happened, what were you doing when the team towers fell down? I was in the same manufacturing plant, but in a meeting when it happens. When he, it what happened. About, what about what were you doing when the hurricane reached? Happen. You know what? You 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 told me that it was in 1998, right? Yes, 1998. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I'm really I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's because you were in the U.S. at the time. No, no, no. 1998, uh, my first job was in 1997. And I went to Chicago in, after I got married mm -hmm. in uh, 2002. How, how do you say 2002? 2002. 2002. Now, okay. What yeah. month did you live? 
that you went to the USA in 2002. What month did you, did you leave? Yeah, what, what month did you leave in 2002? Well, uh, in, I... Uh, in October, I leave. Ah, yeah, I was, I was um re regist. I how to say inscribiendo materials. I <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me too. Okay, I was um. Rolling for some courses, rolling. classes, some subjects actually, and rolling. Rolling in and rolling for classes. I was enrolling. I was rolling. No, enrolling. Ah, enrolling. I was enrolling, enrolling some subjects. I was enrolling in class, or how do you say my classes? Subjects. Mm -hmm. Some subjects. Ah, subjects. Yeah, I was enrolling. Subject at the university when we when it gets the earthquake get started and we were we were with my classmates we were doing a a, a huge um I, how do you say a huge pila line. Uh -huh. A huge line to to enroll the subject <laughs> when it gets started, and and we only saw the trees, and and we heard the sound of the earthquake. I'm gonna but, send you some vocabulary to talk about courses and education. Okay, I'm sending it to the group right now. Mm -hmm. okay. I have vocabulary on how to describe. Um, Academic. So this is not in the book, this is not in the class, I'm not in the center. Um, so you have, yeah. They so were enrolling some um, subject. Okay, so attempted. You finished the questions? Uh, no. No. <laughs> oh, give me one moment. I'll be back. The airline they travel and then. And then they we showed them the way where the gate or to get the plane. Mm. That that what we're doing right now. Okay. You guys finished? Yes. yes. Okay, we're gonna go back now then. Okay. Here we are. Hey, but those were interesting stories. That was very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're going to learn some storytelling vocabulary. Okay. We're just going to learn how it works or what it means and practice this tomorrow. Okay. Um, please pay attention. Take notes if possible. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, Unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral. Coincidentally. All right, let's say the first one. Uh, read everyone read at the same time, okay? Count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, it's coincidentally. <laughs> That's Coincidentally. 
coincidentally. It's like coincidence, right? Coincidence. Coincidentally. 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 Okay, second one. Fortunately. 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 No. Fortunately. 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 Yes, this A is not pronounced. Fortunately. 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 Luckily. 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 Ma, ma, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, take a miracle. <laughs> miracle. <laughs> think of miracle, all right? So, miracle. <laughs> I couldn't miracle. say it. Miracle. Miraculously. 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 So, you're saying four. Miraculously. 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 Yes, like that. Miracle. Miraculously. Miraculously. Miracle. Next one. Miracle. Miracle. Sadly. Miracle. Sadly. 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 Then we have strangely. 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 Suddenly. 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 Yes. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. This is must this is the most common, right? Unfortunately. Fortunately. Yes, unfortunately. Fortunately. 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 Okay. Uh, we have time to decide. So let's see. Mm. Maybe I'm gonna load it here so that it's bigger. All right, let's decide. Coincidentally. Which one? Which one is positive? Uh, positive. 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 Yeah. Luckily. Okay, cool. The the first one you think it's neutral? Hmm. Uh, it's I think it's positive. Mm, but it's only a coincidence. So I think it's neutral. Negative. Uh, I think neutral. it's neutral. 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 I was saying neutral. Yeah, okay, I didn't hear you. What about fortunately? Positive. 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 Neutral for neutral is E, not. Ah, okay. and, and, and it's for negative, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> All right, luckily. Positive. 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 Yes, it is positive, right? And miraculously. Positive. 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 Sadly. Negative. negative. Strangely. Negative. Negative. Negative, right? It could also be neutral, maybe. Right, suddenly? No. Neutral. 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 Yes. Surprisingly? Positive. Positive. Yes. It is positive. Okay, unexpectedly. Negative. 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 That happened. Yes, because they're maybe neutral. neutral. Uh -huh. But let's say negative. negative. Okay. Unfortunately, definitely negative. Yes, negative, negative for sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Great. Roberto, you're saying unexpectedly is definitely negative. Yes. <laughs> it's a hundred percent sure. Yeah, the equivalent or the opposite of it would be surprisingly. It was unexpected. It could also be neutral. It's so point, but it kind of has a negative connotation when I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, do you have any questions? No. No. We're gonna practice using this tomorrow through speaking. No, tomorrow, no teacher. Maybe on Monday? Monday. Monday. <laughs> Maybe on Monday, okay. <laughs> right. Enjoy the weekend, stay safe, try to have fun staying at home <laughs> and study, okay? <laughs> We are in section 2.4, so that's how far you should be in the platform. Okay, thank okay. you. Right. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.